Yo, what's up? Hey, I'm Steve from Punchline. I'm really happy to be here. You guys watching this. Uh, I play in the band Punchline. I play guitar and I sing. Um, I'm not exactly like a big gear head, but I love having super solid gear and a simple setup that I know that I can rely on. Um, for my head, I recently got uh, one of these Kemper profiling amps. I love it because I do a lot of studio recording, um, so it's great for studio recording. It's, and then it's, it's very light, and it's also, this is the powered version of the Kemper heads, so that you can use it um, as an amplifier for live. Um, with it, so with this amp, you can get a full-on uh, floorboard controller that comes with it. But it was, you know, I got this used on Reverb, and I, I remember I ordered it on Christmas night this year as an impulse buy, and I'm so happy with it. But uh, I'm saving up for the full-on pedal board. But what what I did was I got one of these uh, these expression pedals from Mission Engineering. Um, so you can assign parameters to this pedal, but I mostly use it for just a, a volume pedal. Um, but I have it set so that when it's in the down position, it's really just like my clean channel. So the volume set so it's not rolled all the way off. So then when I'm in like full forward, it's 100%, you know, my dirty channel. And then in the back position, it's, it's kind of like, a, it works as a clean channel. But I love how simple that is. You know, when I put the head out here, I just have this one pedal that I pull out to the mic and, and, and that's it. This Kemper came with a lot of presets already, and honestly, I've still been working through them. I've since, like, since I got it, you know, friends are like, yo, I'm gonna send you this amp, I'm gonna send you this amp, and every time I'm like, yeah, I would love to get to those, but I already have so much that's already stored stored in here. So I, I switch back and forth between, I have a couple sounds that, that, that I use, and I, I honestly like playing, or playing around with them, but uh, I use a, a, a JMP sound uh, quite often. And then uh, as far as the effects, I usually just have like a tiny bit of reverb um, and I always tell the sound guys every night, you know, have fun with guitar effects. Like I keep it pretty dry so you can do what you need to do to give us a good sound in the room and, you know, give them some references as far as, you know, I tell people like we're like a Jimmy World style rock band. So then they kind of know the style and they know, okay, well then that, because of that, I know it's okay to use like some delays on the guitars just to get the sound to carry. A little more. So before I had the Kemper, I had a uh, Mesa single rec, which I liked and it was super solid. And it got me through about a year and a half. Uh, but I was at the time mourning. I've had this, when I was, my first good amp ever was a Marshall JCM 900 that I swear was just a special amp and it had a great sound. But of course, I sold it off back in the day, and I got a Mesa Dual Rec. I and mean, there's been a couple times that the Ant, the Marshall has come back into my possession, because I would sell it to a friend, then a friend bought it from him, and then I bought it back from that friend, and then I sold it back to that friend. So I'm either gonna eventually get that Ant back or just go over to his house and profile it. <laughs> I used to use a four x 12 cab, but I've downgraded to the two x 12 cab. I have an orange cab that have greenback Celestion speakers in them and it's wonderful. I love the sound. It's a very rich tone and complements the Kemper very nicely. Um, for my guitar, I have this 72 Fender Thin Line reissue. Um, it's, it's Japanese made. It was given to me by my brother-in-law. Um, and, you know, some guitars just feel like a nice cut of wood. And this guitar has just, the intonation has always been great and it's just always played really nicely. This has been my main guitar for the last more than 10 years for, for sure. So another thing about this guitar is that I said it was my, my brother-in-law gave this to me. He said that I have to leave this sticker on here and explain to everyone that no, this is not Speed Racer. This is Derek Wildstar from the 70s TV show, Star Blazers. So there I've officially informed you and now I can go on playing this gu guitar. Um, my knob fell off, <laughs> my flip switch knob fell off, but we're still making it work. Um, I use Ernie Ball 11s for, for my strings, and I think it's awesome that the guy that we used to get our strings from at Ernie Ball, he is now the president of the company, which is cool, so congrats, Brian. Um, and I have one of these little snark tuners, which, First tour not using a pedal tuner. I know Corey, our drummer, is not a fan. 
um, and sometimes this thing goes flying off into the air when we're playing. But again, I just love having one pedal on the floor. It's really, it's really nice. For tuning, we tune a half step down, so we play an E flat standard typically. Um, we change up the keys to a lot of our songs from how they are on the record, just because why not? It sounds, it's fun sometimes to do. I use these yellow picks, which are typically medium picks, and I just love the yellow ones. But now that I'm looking at this one, I don't, I don't know where this came from. <laughs> and then the star of the show. Is this the star of the show? I don't know. So last year, I started playing a shaker on stage in between, uh, in between choruses of songs. So I, I like cutting out during verses, and I, but I felt, you know what, I have two hands here. There's something that I could do with these hands. So I got a shaker and uh, proceeded to leave four or five shakers at clubs over the last year. My little treat to them, because I tie it to the mic stand and then I forget that it's there. Um, and the last music store that I went to was in uh, Asbury Park and they didn't have shakers, but they had a maraca, uh, this, beautiful, this beautiful LP maraca. So I got the maraca and I've been trying it out and I've been asking people every night. I was like, maraca, yay or nay? And last night in Cleveland, I got some very strong yays. So, hell yeah. So this right here we have, um, we'll call it Steve's backup, but it's actually my guitar. Um, these guys think that you should only have one guitar. Uh, I think that's a little crazy, but, you know. It works because I'm a nice guy and I let them use mine. Personally, I think sharing instruments with your bandmates and your fundamentally your, your brothers is a beautiful thing. <laughs> Until it breaks. <laughs> uh, so I have a duel with Steve. Um, at the end of this tour, he's going he's gonna to restring this for me. This guitar, actually, it's just a, a pretty standard uh, Fender Strat, a uh, Mexican Strat. Um, funny story, my mom was recently uh, got married and her, her new husband just had this guitar laying around. It was in pretty dire, dire straits. And uh, so I took it and I had my buddy Aaron, who uh, runs a guitar company in Pittsburgh called um, Ironworks Guitar. He's great um, yeah, it's at fixing fun. everything. He, Steve's acoustic neck broke and he, he fixed that and he said it's never sounded better after the mm -hmm. break. Uh, so I had him, he used to have a white pick guard on it. Um, just brought it to him, he gave it the whole work over set it up and all that and um i love it uh you know like my home studio i always love the strat sound I always love that like single coil kind of you can tell it's a strat and i really like how strat sound and uh yeah i wish it had some strap locks on it i get a little worried when steve does use it and he's, he's rocking out up there but uh yeah it's a it's a cool guitar i like the old black you like this guitar yeah i, I love it i appreciate it i appreciate you you want to negotiate strap locks into the deal? I don't care. Yeah, let's talk. <laughs> Yo, thanks so much for watching. We have a new album called Lion, and Punchline has been around for a while, and if you've ever seen us at a show, I urge you to check out our new record. You know, maybe it sounds a little different than we used to sound, or maybe you'll think it sounds just like it used to sound. I don't know, but I hope you check it out. You can check it out on Spotify. You can check it out on Apple Music. Just type in Punchline Lion, and let us know what you think. Thank you. Oh yeah.